welcome to the webinar on groundwater seeing the invisible in its key role for a sustainable world. Um, and well, you know, it is, uh, it's also my pleasure to have uh, three, uh, three speakers who uh, will present to you a number of case studies on the importance of groundwater. Uh, and I will just give a brief introduction. I myself, I am a groundwater hydrologist from IHE Delft, where I work in indeed research and capacity strengthening and education through the Delft-based programs and also the Erasmus Mundus program specifically dedicated to groundwater and global change. So uh, as you might know uh, by now, um, this year has been um, uh, labeled the name of the year of groundwater by UN Water. And indeed the, the slogan is making the invisible visible. And uh, you could ask yourself, uh, but you probably already know that very well, um, but for many, uh, it is important to, to keep on uh, talking about why we need to see groundwater and make it visible. Uh, we know it is the largest liquid freshwater reservoir. So as such, it is, has a major role in um, achieving the sustainable development goals, uh, especially also in its link to food and energy. Uh, uh, so the water security is, is extremely important also in those links and also in the adaptation uh, of and mitigation, sorry, adaptation to and mitigation of um, climate and global change. Think of increasing water demand with a growing population and a growing economy, but also the, the issues of more intense rainfall events that's followed by longer and drier periods in many parts of the world. And there we can see that groundwater and its reservoir can, uh, yeah, have a huge potential. Uh, and at the same time, of course, groundwater is also threatened uh, because it is an invisible resource. And we know in many areas there is strong over-exploitation, uh, which you can actually see on this map built by IGRAC. The darker colored areas are those where the abstraction, uh, the groundwater abstraction, uh, is very near to or exceeds the amount of annual inflow, rainfall and river inflow towards the groundwater bodies. And we can also see that there are large areas where there is a uh, large uh, under exploitation or under use of the potential of groundwater. So in that sense, uh, yes, there are definitely impacts that we need to consider, contamination and over-exploitation, but there's also this, this role of groundwater that we necessarily need to address in the achieving the, uh, the SDGs and the adaptation mitigation of climate change. So um, therefore, uh, increasing the understanding of groundwater and groundwater resources will improve the management of this resource. So we, we need to keep on strengthening awareness, building awareness, strengthening capacity uh, through also education and research. And therefore, uh, yeah, at IG Delft, we, we have, we are fortunate to be involved in these activities. Um, and, and I think the following case studies will give you a nice overview. Uh, uh, there are many case studies around the world. These three we try to represent uh, some of the work being done uh, looking at impacts, but particularly at solutions that involve groundwater and, and that look at um, yeah, the ways forward towards, for instance, upscaling these solutions to increase their potential. So 